Thank you, you. Imagine humanity stands at the edge of a precipice. The dawn is breaking golden-hued and urgent to the east. The edge of tomorrow beckons and we are faced with a choice. To one horizon, the fingers of God stretch outwards towards infinite potential, illuminating our mistakes from the past and offering up a chance to calibrate a new normal, wake up face to face with possibility. To the other, everything's stained with fear and scarcity that leaves us backing up and backpedaling, meddling with quick fixes and settling, fixing band-aids to bullet wounds and inching closer to the edge. Across these lands, the 11th hour cry of the conch shell echoes. The beacons of Gondor brightly shine to convene a global citizen uprising, one tasked with defying the impossible. And for those who would answer the call, now is your time. So to the ones sprouting the seeds of a new story, where grassroots grow tall to adorn the halls of power, for the ones who dreamed of space as little girls when space was just for boys, to the ones bringing mobile technology to level the playing field, bringing equality of opportunity to those who need it the most, to the pioneers who laid the building blocks of the blockchain long before it was known by such a name, open sourcing the treasure maps to reveal where true value lies. To the social engineers who redesigned the thermal reactors at the core of our organizations to optimize for human warmth, collective wisdom and participation. To the praise poets and the town criers singing truth to beauty. To those who make no apologies for the bodies with which we have been graced. For the vulnerable, the limb steppers, the human connectors and the dreamers, the fighters for human rights, for the angels of impact flying high above the cotton fields, raising standards of living, and those who recognize waste for exactly what it is, a resource from cradle to cradle. In a world where the money follows the mission and bottom lines keep in mind all that lines the forest bottom floor, inclusive growth offers a new definition of wealth. And health is less about popping pills and unpayable bills and more about slowing down and channeling the ancient wisdom of Hippocrates. Let food be thy medicine and let medicine be thy food. And through it all, always remember to play. Play like the seven-year-old girl inside the lady suit. Take an inch and run a mile. Play like the seventh generation that knows not a care in the world. Make your play your education from the bitter winds that whipped the cloaks of your ancestors. Take instruction, tapping into those stories you have always carried deep inside. Turn your gaze to the east, to the foundations of civilization, spray coated with layers of problem and see the cracks of light where opportunity shines through. And know right here, right now, that we are all in this together. Every effort, every failure, every strand of contribution weaves together to strengthen the rope that holds us up into the new story, the one we hardly dare imagine. For when the day comes, many years from now, grandchildren upon your knee, when innocent eyes look up into your own, weary with many a day, and they ask you about that one when humanity stood at the edge of a precipice, what story do you want to tell? Kia ora. <laughs>